Hello there everyone, this is Iron Mark 3 and welcome back to the giant stompy stompy robot simulator. By which I mean of course, Mechoy Online. Hmm. Today we are picking up with um, another one of Happy Aphia's requests, which was... Bring the hardest hitting weapon you can and try and make something happen with it. <laughs> ah, the good old days where that would have been an AC-20 in my hunchback. Yes, yeah, because we have a, a hunchback with enough um, rate of fire boosts on it that you can basically fire at double speed. So, basically two, uh, two AC-20s for the price of one on that one. Sadly though, the AC-20 lost its crown when the uh, ye old heavy gorse was introduced into the game. So that is now the hardest hitting single shot weapon, I think, on both sides. Um, I'm not counting the hags, by the way, because that is a flurry of blows, not a single shot. So as I said, like, a single shot. If I was going to flurry of blows, I'd be mounting an MOM 40, because that does 40 points. But uh, the Heavy Gorse does 25 in a single concentrated blast. But anyway, this is a HBK 4H. Uh, if you're curious, it is actually the one that is lightly biased towards ultra auto cannons as in it has a reduced chance to jam them and that's it apart from that it's actually a general capability machine some quite tasty ballistic quirks a couple of ng quirks and that's about it so it's a hunchback it's built to carry a single massive weapon or well yeah a single massive weapon it's got one ballistic hard point actually for all its quirks and ballistics and um, try and do something fun with it. But and this one's not too bad either. So ignoring that, 20% cooldown, 20% range, 35% velocity. Not too shabby. So this um, HBK 4H is running on an endo steel structure, ferrofibrous armor, and standard heat sinks. Because well, we don't need the heat absorption because you know, gorse rifle. Fair fiber percent endo steel because we were squeezing as much weight as we could out of this to fit a decent engine into it. Yes, wait for an engine. Why do I say this? Well, the primary weapon is, of course, a heavy gorse rifle fed with a plentiful four and a half tons of ammunition, plus the ammunition extension queeks, which adds another twenty-five uh, percent to it, basically, because it's um, two shots for every ton. And one shot for half tons, so yeah, 25% boost overall for that. So we've got plenty of ammunition for it. Backup weapon is just a pair of ER medium lasers, which um, even the standard complement of 10 standard heat sticks can handle with no issues whatsoever. And a standard 225 engine. Well, since it's a 225, we do 72.9, which is not too shabby at all, especially for um, a high higher end of the medium mech line, which is what the Hunchback sets. But um, I mentioned there were some issues with having a standard engine. That's because the hy Hyper Gorse? No, that's the clan one. Heavy Gorse is so big and beefy that it takes up all but one of the slots in the side torso here. So you can't even fit a light engine. At least I don't think you can fit a light engine. Nope, you can't fit a light engine. So. Intersphere XLs require three slots in the side torsos, a light engine requires two. There's no room, so standard only. And we, it also can't go in the arms, because, law-wise, if you fired a heavy gorse from an arm, they tried it, and it tore the arms straight off their mounts. So, even if you have only a shoulder-mounted, um, tiny, tiny arm, the rest of the slots free, you can't put a heavy gorse into it. Side torsos only. <laughs> but there you go. Very simple build, very basic. Not really um, spec'd up for skills. I mean, it's got um, low investment in skills I put into it. We've got the first level of seismic, so we can know if there's things nearby. We've got um, torso twist speed, because, you know, it's a hunchback. We kind of want to try and protect our big, massive, obvious hitbox. And we've got the magazine capacity boost. Apart from that, I don't have anything else. And that is just like, yeah, this is a low skill loadout. And we'll see what we can do with it. Anyway, that's our build. There's many like it. But uh, this one is mine. So, roll on match number one. Where we see 
what I make of this build. <laughs> I'm not sure how it'll go, to be honest. But uh, I can tell you straight away, I won't be able to downgrade the lasers to a quartet of smalls. I just don't have the slots because of the uh, end of steel ferro fibers. So it's like, this build is kind of on the hyper-specialized side of things as far as weight distribution is concerned. Well, because the heavy gorse is, well, heavy. It's 18 tons for a single cannon. <laughs> okay, yeah, enough getting distracted. Into a match we go. Reactor online. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems normal. This is command. Eliminate all enemies, no matter the cost. Okay, here we go. Match number one. Mining Collective. Game mode is skirmish, so kill all the things. Torso is twisting at a decent rate. Our speed is only 72.9, but that's also not too bad. I mean, um, I was checking, and my MRM Archer actually don't, only does like mid-60s. But yet it still feels fairly maneuverable, so it's like, hmm. <laughs> I don't know what's going on there. Anyway, Heavy Gorse. Um... I wound up doing light and standard course for the um, trip around the long range weapons for Inner Sphere Mechs that I did uh, recently in my Mech War Online videos. And I did mention the heavy course in passing, but it sadly fell outside the range for those particular videos. I mean, its maximum range isn't too bad. It's actually at, um, within decent engagement range of 900 meters, or in my case, it's over 1,000 thanks to my range boost. But its minimum range is the issue, a mere 220. Though with my boost again, it's like at 260. But that's um, the limit where it goes to like full 25, and then it just drops off steadily from there. So it's a big heavy projectile that doesn't really go very well at distance. So I have to be getting into range of things, really. Let's switch to my thermal tracking. Can get a peek. Target acquired. New target acquired. New target acquired. So that said, 260, that guy's still range. So you know, could do, still do some damage to it. Target destroyed. New target acquired. Target spotted. Why is there an assault acquired. in our back line right there? I don't think no. Need assistance, thanks. New target acquired. Target also, something I, I forgot to mention during the loadout is don't worry at all about the fact that my arms are sort of going critical already. I basically scraped off nearly all the armor on them just to uh, make more room for the heavy gorse and some more ammo. New target acquired. New target destroyed. I gave that guy a, a few things to think about. 25% of the enemies are eliminated. Target spotted. New target acquired. And I am ducking into cover. <laughs> no, my arm! How ever will I survive? But yeah, their enemies doing fun things to us. Sadly though, um, we are in the lead, but their, their cluster of assaults is near... Enough. Those guys are trying to kill me. I think they're coordinating. I'm being lashed by ER lasers. Very, very sadly. Okay. So, Alice is coming forward. I'm going to sneeze. Hang on a sec. Okay, so, keep on moving. 
good, 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 good. My armor is intact Target enough fired. to withstand some forward target damage. Acquired. That's not the guy that was shooting at me, it's a raven. New target acquired. No, it's a hand over there. I might have been that guy. No, wait, he doesn't. No. I don't think he has what, what I'm New target for. acquired. Target spotted. Nope, he's moving way outside my engagement range. Let's move on this way. So, yeah, the heavy gorse damage drops off quick. Though 260 is still decent enough for short range engagements. So, I don't know. Short to mid range, I guess New you could say. Acquired. Oh, it's a dire wolf. That's why it hurts so much. Okay. Thanks. I need to be careful, though. My right torso is kind of vulnerable. Though, apart from the arms, I am actually max on armor everywhere except for the legs. So. That just shows how much damage I've been taking to it. New target acquired. Where are targets? Just be a bit careful. We've almost got them all. Clean up the survivors. Target destroyed. One down. New target acquired. That's a viper. Where did the dire wolf go? That's my question. Oh, it's dead. Okay, never mind. Yeah. The one massive problem with the uh, heavy course is just this massive recoil. You know, notice that my screen just shook every time I fired. Missed. Now oh, well. we just have to try and get that. Oops. Hi. <laughs> just have to try and hunt him down, don't we? So, so this is kind of, might be an issue. Though the difference in numbers, he's not going to win this, I don't think. Not at all. Okay, so while we're hunting this guy, I guess I'll move on to story time. Um, four and a half tons of ammo. Excessive? Maybe. There is only eight shots per ton, so it's really bad. But I was influenced by seeing a video from Baradul, um, who does a he's, a... he's a very prolific mech warrior specialized content creator. Mainly does uh, Mech Warrior Online, Mech yes, Warrior 5, that kind of stuff. Three weeks ago ish, he posted a video about a Marauder, I think. Yeah, I think it was the legendary Marauder, which um, had two Heavy Gauls rifles, and he was going mm ah with like um, three okay. tons per launcher. So that, I, I used that as a basis for my figure to get uh, ammo. Though I only saw it in my in, in feed like a few like a few days back, like half a week ago. So, yeah. Yeah. while I was just like preparing for this particular build, though at first, honestly, I, d I knew I didn't want to go with two because I'd be stepping up to like a um, the meme build of a Fafnir, hundred ton armored brick, and I, I just wasn't feeling comfortable taking trying to take a memed out assault like that. Mind you, I've not actually stepped out in a Fafnir for quite a while. Hmm. I guess I've got used to having a little bit of speed. So that's why I tend to favour like the heavies and the mediums. They're, they're a bit more mobile than the assault bricks are sometimes. Anyway. What I was thinking of doing for this build, though, was actually a cataphract. Like, it's a 60-odd it's a ton heavy, which is essentially an official Franken-mech, because it is a mash of parts that uh, the, the manufacturing nation-state had at the time from a bunch of different designs. They just cobbled it together into something functional and said, here, this is a brand new heavy mech, have fun with it. And same kind of deal, but I was looking for something which had a decent enough engine room for a standard engine, because, you know, can't use lighter engine tech. Over that way. Target acquired. Target spotted. And then just trying to um, contact. pull it together Target enough spotted. with backup weaponry Can't and spotted. trying to keep it from getting too heavy so the engine Target wouldn't spotted. become too massive. So, it's kind of fact. And then last moment, it's like, I have this hunchback. I bought Target most spotted. of the range of hunchbacks, so I decided to try and put it down. And it turned out that I, I managed spotted. to fit in reasonably well, I think. So, yeah. Just have to try and catch up. He is taking damage. He is overloading himself a bit, I think, pushing his reactors. 
So let's see if I can catch him. Nope. Okay, he, he blew himself to pieces. <laughs> okay. So yeah, I need to put out a cat back for this video, but um, I wound up going with my own, one of my favourites, the Hunchback. There we go. That was convenient story time, wasn't it? <laughs> no outright kills, but nine assists, two fifty-six done, two ten taken. A little bit of team damage. Not sure when that was. Probably from my lasers. Holy crap! The Griffin did five hundred fifty-four damage. Yeah, not bad for a Griffin, that one. Um, where did I place in my team? 256. Ooh. Top half, but barely, it looks like. I did all right, I suppose. I mean, my ranking did go up, so that's usually a positive sign. Roll on match number two. Reactor online. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems normal. Command coming in. Capture and hold the resource point. Stop any hostiles and get in your way. Okay, here we go. Match number two. Ooh, a Thanatos with twin light course. Looks like a variant of the stock one there. Because the stock version of the Thanatos, one of them has twin light course. Anyway, let's move on. Um, resource point collection, domination, I think it is. On HPG, manifold. No change to the build this time. So, um, I forgot to check my ammo counter at the end of last time. So Enemy gonna... forces have Sigma. The one possible thing I'm considering in terms of tweaking it a little bit is maybe stripping out two tons of ammo. Which is like... Um, is controlled by the enemy. 20 shots out of it and then upgrading well side grading my ER meds to medium X pulses so greater NG DPS possibly heat issues because you know I'm only on sand 10 standard heat sinks but We're also reduced gorse ammo because it's you know it's like my face time feels like it's it was a bit limited in the last match and that is one of the issues sometimes if you don't manage to get into a decent head-on fight why am I like damaged I do not know into a decent head-on fight, then sometimes you might not deploy Target your big acquired. weaponry that much. Kappa is under enemy it's control. a problem with the um, AC-20 armed urban mech. The AC-20 armed hunchback has that issue sometimes. Right. Lights running around, take them out while we can. So, so does my New heavy acquired. gorse hunchback. That would fall to the theme, really. Of course, got to remember, this thing Target does reach out to like a thousand. Miss. Though there is also a slower projectile compared to the uh, standard course as well. Now the problem is I don't know where the battle line is. And Seismic Center isn't picking up anything. So it looks like it might be clashing over there a bit. I said that way. Oops, something's hitting me in the back. Target spotted. That is something armed with twin large X pulse lasers. Trouble coming off a cap though. Ow. Yeah, I think that describes it. Now, looking crap. Something out there is kind of nasty. So I don't really want to engage it that much. Point, gamma. New target acquired. Also, I need to be wary because right if I get pummeled. This can happen. Who the heck's shooting at me anyway? Oh, it's uh, one of those guys over there. We've already gained a quarter of the resources. Keep it up. The enemy is at I think I wound up exposing myself a bit too much, so I'm gonna keep pushing around and drop down here to nearby allied it's cover. My old. armor is a bit pummeled. New target acquired. Target That's a Jaeger mech with twin ultra AC twenties. No wonder it hurts so much. That said, I might be in a bit of a sticky situation here because of um, We've captured resource that guy over okay. there. Hmm. One thing I didn't mention actually during story time last at the end, during the last match is like, okay. why am I? Oh, we're already two for five. Why am I uh, not carrying the enhanced charge time? 
your Specifically, so if I miss the shots and don't let critical go. Damage. Critical damage. Right torso critical damage. Left torso destroyed. Right torso. Ow. <laughs> so that I can. If I don't release the shot after it winds up, it will cycle down and recharge quickly rather than hanging out for a while and then going off. Still, though, I got absolutely sorted. I don't know what was happening with our teammates there, but um, I, I think they drove a wedge into us and then picked us off kind of piecemeal a little bit. If they've lost a leg, they are down. is controlled by the enemy. Blackjack down here with a lot of medium lasers. Um, level critical. Huntsman with a, a lot of SOM6s. Oh nice, he actually critical. got a kill. But yeah, roll and mash number three if we can get it. Because that one I'm not Acquired. very satisfied with. Center torso critical damage. Reactor online. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems available. This is command. Eliminate all enemies, no matter the cost. I just realized my microphone was reset. Okay, here we go. This is match number three. We are once again in Bekel Base for a straight old skirmish. Two videos in the row. The third match is being Bekel Base. Okay, I have tweaked my build slightly. You can probably tell because my ammo count is lower for my heavy gorse, down to 30 rounds. And that is because um, I didn't actually upgrade my. I say again, say upgrade. Side grade. My medium lasers to X pulse because I decided I wanted to keep the bit of extra range on it as a counterbalance for how quickly the heavy gorse falls off. I was not using my tonnage of ammunition there at all, so I sacrificed a ton and a half of ammunition to upgrade my engine from a 225 to a 240. So speed has jumped from 72 to 77.8. Not too bad. As everyone's like gathering up as we slowly poke our way forwards. I also didn't want to install more lasers, even though I have freed up two slots doing that. Because, you know, my arms are barely armoured, so I'd have to devote some more tonnage to armouring those to protect the lasers if I wanted to actually put those into use. So, avoid that, thank you. So, a bit more speed, a bit more positioning, a bit more flexibility in where we go. Same, same firepower statistics, same armour. Same everything else. Oh, we'll see how we go with this. Yeah, you're next to taking pot shots over there. We have no idea where the enemy is just yet. But we are starting to get some ideas. And there's, there's a red warning there. Server's going down in 15 minutes. That is all the bad guys. I do not want to be standing there. <laughs> And my rear armor just melted. It's only like Backstop in Hotel Six. Eleven points. Hotel Six. Need assistance. Oh, oh great. Affirmative. Oh yeah, there's a light over that way. I think it is. Oh no, my armor. My arms are getting damaged. Whatever will I do? Target what acquired. is that over there anyway? New target. Oh, it's a flea. <laughs> of course it is. Ah, oh, those fleas. I think, has he fallen into the pit? Ah. Oh, Left torso, critical damage. Stop shooting me when I'm exposed, Target darn it. Destroyed. It's not fair. I'm trying to get right torso critical really? damage. Target acquired. So I'm a order two over there. Why is there more two over that way? 
but that wasn't what shot me. The, the enemies are all pushing over here. We are too scattered. They are pushing. I do not like that at all, so I'm going to wander over this way. That Marauder 2 is getting pummeled. It's going to die soon, but um, there's something else supporting fire there as well. Is there anything I can do around this side? Target destroyed. New target acquired. I don't think he liked that. I think I did kind of breach his rear arm a bit. Nope. I do not want to tangle with you, face on. My armor is somewhat poly. <laughs> yep, he's following me. Oh no, I shredded part of your armor. Whatever will you do? I lost track of him completely, and apparently I got melee to death. <laughs> Weapon explosion. Okay. Damaged by ERPPC. Heavy gorse blew up, and that killed me. Uh, 144 damage done, 344 dealt. I feel like I've not really got a good grasp of the heavy gorse, though. Maybe... I mean, it's fairly even so far. They do have a concentrated wedge while we spread out a lot, but we are starting to turn it around. Kind of. We're still too scattered. One of our allies just overloaded. So, how do I feel about it? I, 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 I think maybe I should have gone with getting a double heavy course just for like massive 50 point blast on it. So, maybe the Fafnir would have been a better choice. The main issue, of course, is the sheer bulk and weight of the heavy heavy gorse rifle. So it's like you need something that big, really, to carry it and much else. So more hammers getting pummeled. Very sadly. Target destroyed. Was that my killer that just went down? I, I, I don't know. Dad gamer just died. <laughs> Right, see, we might actually win this one. Now there's the one that killed me. Good. I have been avenged. Target acquired. Anyway, yeah. Maybe I should revisit the horse and heavy gorse again and try to figure it out, though it'll probably be in a double configuration in something really big and beefy, like a Fafnir, which means it's gonna be slow as hell. But I don't mind doing that. Not as much got done this game because of, I think because I was not familiar with the weapon, but uh, yeah. That's my attempts to try and do a heavy gorse on a medium mech. Kind of, kind of okay, kind of not, I don't know, but uh, the wind up time was working against it I feel like, I'd rather have had the AC-20, okay. honestly, <laughs> but uh, yeah. We've Going to call it there though. This has been Airbox 3, thank you all very much for watching, hope you guys have been uh, enjoying the show. Not as... Um, dramatic as the urban mech video which was the most recent one but it's an Irby. Irby always does its own thing. Anyway yeah um, please like share Target comment subscribe acquired. all that good stuff helps out me helps out the channel gives me those virtual headpats I oh so crave and I'll catch you all some other time. We are gonna win this one He's stuck in the hole. I think because yeah my, my team regrouped and then now they're just like come dropping the hurt on the enemies that are over it scattered. So, the situation kind of reversed. Yeah, I think he was stuck down the hole. That's a bit unfortunate. Oof. But yeah, see you all later.